everybody, it's Jeff. And in this video, I really want to hit on the one piece of advice that I have found the most important in my coin collecting journey. And that is really just to slow down. And when I say slow down, I mean slow down your purchases. I think every new collector, especially me, early, uh, you have this unbelievable excitement. It's like you found this new, incredible hobby you didn't know existed. A uh, piece of history that maybe you grew up collecting coins uh, and you got back into it or maybe you're in it for the first time uh, but if you have a little bit of money and eBay makes it so easy to buy things all the auction houses make it so incredibly easy to buy things that you get this little high it's the endorphins that are pumped into your brain every time you buy something the excitement of that coin coming in the mail uh, that you really end up buying too much and not just from a financial perspective uh, do you buy too much, but also you just tend to buy junk early in your coin collecting career. And it took me about a year and a half and a lot of money wasted to realize that I really only cared about maybe 5 or 10% of the coins that I actually bought. Ones that I happened to come across that were unbelievable that I probably paid too much for but I can't ever imagine selling. And all the rest of the stuff, I just never really looked at that much. Maybe I wanted to fill a dance co album or maybe I wanted a short set and I just had to fill that particular slot of the short set. And I kind of just bought the first thing that I saw. And I now what I do essentially is I say, okay, I can only buy one coin a month, no matter what. And I have a set budget Everybody has a different budget. Maybe it's $50 a month, maybe it's 2,000 a month or, or more if you are lucky enough to be able to spend that much on coins. But what ends up happening is if you only buy one coin for that month, then you're gonna wait and you're gonna be patient. You're gonna wait for a coin that you absolutely love as opposed to just going out and buying any old thing. And that pickiness will actually be the best thing for you because then you're going to be able to pick what you truly love and you're more inclined to keep it for the long run. And with that kind of goes to this idea that in the beginning, especially, we don't know what we want to specialize in, which is why we tend to buy a little bit of everything. And But when you slow things down and you look at more photos of different coins, uh, you allow your brain to really understand what do I truly love? What do I keep going back at? Uh, what coin do I see and I don't forget for weeks on end? Those are the coins I've learned that if I look at it and then I go to bed and I can't stop thinking about it, I wake up, I keep looking at that particular coin, I know that's a coin that I'll love probably for the long run. Whereas if I look at a coin and then I keep scrolling down and next thing I know, 10 seconds later, I forget about that coin, I certainly don't want it and I certainly don't need it. And the other blessing of slowing things down, only being able to buy 10 to 12 coins a year, is you are able to save up some money and, and probably buy a much nicer coin. So there's so many good things that come from slowing down. And the other part too that really benefits all of us is some of the biggest joy of coin collecting is the journey itself. That we almost always think, ah, oh, we gotta fill this album. It's like once we fill the album, it's gonna be so pleasurable to look at every hole that's full. And not, not that that isn't an enjoyable experience, but one of the most enjoyable experiences for me is simply the joy of treasure hunting a coin that I know I'm gonna love that's out there. So I would say that in a nutshell is the most important piece of advice I could give to any collector, at least the one that I carry the most weight in. And that is simply to slow down because there's so many good things that come from slowing down. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.